Hello, my name is Trina. I'm a medical cannabis patient. I partake of cannabis on a regular basis for PTSD, arthritis in both my knees and ankles, social anxiety, and a few other conditions you can learn more about through watching the previous shows on this channel. This is the Productive Cannabis Connoisseur, a channel dedicated to medical cannabis patients and adults 18 and older. So, hello everyone. Today is Saturday, so I'm doing a show called Cannabis Upcyclable, Upcycle and Recycled. <laughs> Wearable art. You try saying that at almost 11 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I had quite the uh, evening. I didn't, I didn't go to sleep exactly the time I wanted to, but whatever. Um, but yeah, before we get into it, I'm going to show you like um, one of the pieces that I finished and put up on my Etsy shop. And I think I showed it to you on a recent video, but it was so dark in here, and it's still dark in here. So, <laughs> no matter where it goes, dark unless I'm right in the sunlight. So, um, let me get out the stuff that I'm going to smoke today and then uh, have a smoke session and I can show you some of the stuff that I finished and some of the stuff that um, I'm working on. And I do this because I'm trying to promote creativity and show you how cannabis definitely helps in the creative process. <clears throat> so, let's get to smoking some of this beautiful cannabis. Um, I have a joint that I was smoking on last night that I rolled, so I'm just going to finish this one off. It's just scorched a little bit, and I, uh, I've got some, I've got some, um, Skywalker OG, once again, <laughs> and, yeah. Luckily, the encounter I had with a medical cannabis delivery service was a lot more pleasant. If you don't know about that, um, check out my video, of, I think it was... Yesterday or the day before, I talked about that. I think it was an evening one, like a midnight one, where I mentioned it. But yeah, I had a very unpleasant experience, but luckily, uh, I didn't have that this time around. So it was just the person that was was a different person. So yeah, without getting into that, <laughs> glad that's over with. But yeah, I thought it was just all in my mind, but it wasn't. When I played it back and thought about what happened, it was very like rude, the person was. So just whatever, move on from it. If I, if that happens again, then I'll complain about it. But until then, I'm just gonna be chill about it and move on. <laughs> so yeah, cheers everyone. Thanks for joining me today. Oh, this is so good. I wish I could share this. I wish I could just pass it. <coughs> Man, it's a wonderful flavor. Okay, I'm going to put this in the ashtray. Oh. Fell in there. Let's put it over there. Have some water or tea. I got some green tea going here. And the owl mug has returned. <laughs> mm. All right. Okay. Someone tells me I should try to put the light on. Maybe it'll give us a little more brightness in here. I'll be right back. All righty, we're back. <laughs> we're back. We're live now. <laughs> I think that made it a little bit better. What do you guys think with the light? I, fuck, I don't know. I'm sorry. Anyways. <laughs> but what I wanted to show you today was that hand, the little purse that I had been working on. It's based on all these Ipsy bags that I've, I've collected through the times that I've gotten Ipsy delivered to me. And uh, <clears throat> Ipsy, if you didn't know, it's a company that sends uh, once a month... I think it was about like 10 bucks or something like that. It was, I think it was 7 and it went up to 10, but I might be wrong, whatever. Anyway, for once a month you get this bag, this makeup bag, and along with it you get skincare products and makeup. A lot of them were vegan-free, cruelty-free, that's why I liked it. And um, I just stopped getting it because I can't afford to do that kind of thing once a month. 
So uh, I'm stuck with, yeah, I was stuck with these bags. So I got this one, this one, this one. I like this one a lot, the silver. And this one, which is kind of cool. Notice on uh, the ones that have print on or design on them, it's only on one side. But with me, I like to put a design on both sides. So I took one of those Ipsy bags and I altered it. One side of the Ipsy bag was just plain and had this, you see the, the color of the fabric underneath the design I put on there. It was just a plain old like peach color <clears throat> fabric. <clears throat> so what I basically did was embroidered skulls and crossbone on it and then use a, um, a fabric marker to do the swirly designs on it in the background, a green uh, fabric marker. And then I sewed a doll onto their fabric doll that I already made, an art doll. And then for the zipper, because the zipper had the emblem, the symbol of Ipsy on it, and, you know, I didn't want to uh, look like I'm selling an Ipsy bag because it's no longer an Ipsy bag. <laughs> it's an original creation now. So um, I sewed some of my fabric beads on there for the zipper part. Let's see. And there it is. So this is a fancy uh, purse. It's not something you just wear anywhere. <clears throat> it's a Vodou-inspired protection goddess purse. It has um, the protection symbol, is, which is the pentagram, which I embroidered on there. And it has the goddess symbol, symbol for the goddess, on there. And then on the handle, it's all fabric beads. Uh, it has a some eyes on there and it has uh, some pentagrams on there, uh, some X's and all of these beads were hand sewn. And here's the one of the beads is a symbol for the goddess on there and all these beads are hand, hand sewn, hand embroidered by me. Um, this piece took about a week I think to make <clears throat> so just one of these took a week to make so it's a lot of time and effort and uh, but it's a lot of fun because you put it, see I've got my own fabric beads on there. How fun is that? And the fun in it all is taking scraps of fabric and making a one-of-a-kind piece of artwork. Which you can wear. You could carry you could carry your lighter in there. You could carry some joints in there that's in a dupe tube. <laughs> you could carry your cell phone keys in there. Uh, that's what you could carry in there. Or it could just be your medicine bag straight up. Um, I wouldn't say putting glass glass things in here like a pipe, glass pipe or a little tiny bong, <laughs> really tiny, because uh, <clears throat> it's not padded. So if it was padded, then I'd say yeah, go for it, but it's not padded. So, <clears throat> and I don't know how easy it would be to pad it. you got to turn it inside out like this probably, and then uh, put some really thick, sew some really thick fabric on the inside. I could experiment with one of these bags to pad it, so, but yeah, this is how it turned out, and I really like how it turned out, and it's on my Ipsy, sh Ipsy, <laughs> it's on my Etsy shop right now, and I'll have the link in the description below, so you could go to that and check it out if you want. So what I'm doing now is um, starting on another one, since I finished this one, starting on another one, and it's going to be, it's this gold one. So I already started making beads for the handle. It's going to be a totally fabric beaded handle. So <clears throat> I made some little African African women on here, dressed fancy. One has a gold hat and a gold uh, dress. One has golden hair <laughs> and a silver dress. But it's all hand embroidered. So once it's done, it's going to look really spectacular, I feel, so far. So that's going to be the handle. It's going to be completely covered with these ladies on it. So something different I'm doing um, with these uh, fabric beads, making little doll uh, <clears throat> fabric beads and onto a handle. I've never done that before. That idea came to me. And that's the thing, the cool thing about cannabis is that you get these ideas and you don't just dismiss them. Uh, at least with me, I follow them through. So what I probably do is I'll put a fabric doll either on this side or probably on this side. And something else on this side, kind of like what I did with this bag. Only be a little bit more challenging because this bag wasn't as challenging because it, I'm sewing a fabric doll onto 
some plain old plain fabric. There's nothing on it. But with this, it's got like rhinestones on it, so it'll be a little bit more of a challenge. But yeah, I'm really excited and psyched about this new project that I'm doing with these um, Ipsy bags. Now onto this right here, the Superman bag that I made. Uh, <clears throat> This one right here, I haven't gotten around to putting the zipper on it, and that's what I want to do today. And I've got a little zipper that I can add on to it so that it closes up. So, yeah, this is pretty cool. I love Superman, so. <laughs> but I showed this before, but I haven't gotten back to it to sew the zipper on, and I think that's what I want to do today after I get all of my errands done. Um, and now for this one, I couldn't find a zipper around within my supplies. I like this one too. Another Superman. This one's like a square uh, or more of a square shape. Well, I guess it's rectangular. But anyway, um, I couldn't find a zipper for it. So I figured what I'll do is I'll use this light blue jean fabric and I'll make a flap for it. You know what I mean? Like how some bags can have a flap on them. I've done this before. But you basically just, uh, <clears throat> I probably have to do the this way, huh? Widthwise. But yeah, it'll just sew like a strap on, I mean, a flap onto it. Like so. And then I'll, um, I'll put, uh, make my own buttons, fabric buttons, to enclose it. So it'll, there'll be some sort of enclosure on it. Right now, that isn't, you can't really tell what I'm doing, but once it's on there, I think people get the gist of what I'm talking about, having a flap on it and a button to close it up. I think I'll put the strap and the button on this side. That way it doesn't cover up his face. <laughs> but yeah, that's the fun I've been having with upcycle, recycled, uh, wearable art, wearable fashion, whatever you want to call it. I've been saying art instead of fashion because fashion is just, it's dead, seems like. So I also have this on my Etsy shop. I have, um, I have this Fabric B Rasta inspired, Rasta Queen inspired Fabric Dreadlock B. So you can check that out on my uh, Etsy shop. I just recently finished uh, posting it last night. And I also have this up on my shop too. The Rasta Queen um, Fabric Art Doll Keychain. All hand sewn, all hand embroidered. So, you can check out that listing on Ips, on Etsy. I keep saying Ipsy because <laughs> those Ipsy bags. You can check it out on Etsy <clears throat> and see it for yourself. So, yeah, these are a labor of love, all of these projects. They take a lot of time and energy, but the energy and time that's taken is worth it because it's fun and it helps to relax me and keep me stress-free. And that's why I share these projects with you guys. So you can you know, get, give you some ideas and some inspiration and just create something and do it because you want to, because you're enjoying it, you're enjoying yourself. We shouldn't have to go through life only doing things that we hate doing. <laughs> you know, oh God, I gotta pay this bill, I gotta do this, I gotta pay the rent. Yeah, of course we gotta do all that, but in between that, all the serious stuff, we should mix it up with something fun so that we can relax ourselves and be more patient with those who are around us. So, with that said, let me take a toke here and say thanks for joining me today, guys. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. As always, um, I'm going to get ready to uh, go grocery shopping, get some produce, and then, <clears throat> and then probably do laundry and... What else? <laughs> Probably do laundry, and then I can work on these bags. It's going to be fun. I love it. Get the hard shit done first, and then you can do the fun stuff. <laughs> so thanks for joining me today. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for liking. Thanks for sharing this video with your friends and family. And thank you for your kind comments. Leave your comments down below and let me know what you're working on that has to do with recycling and upcycling. Because I think it can be really fun. Not only are you doing something to save some scraps of fabric and sh or an old shirt that will be just thrown in the trash and thrown into landfill and creating more pollution, you're helping the problem and you're not creating a problem. So that's important. So 
Brettus blessings to you all, and I'll see you soon. Filter came out. <laughs>